Fabrizio Romano shares transfer updates on high-level player after links with Liverpool. The Reds get the green light to sign a 33-goal star for Klopp's farewell gift. Liverpool wants star duo to stay, but has not yet initiated contract negotiations. Hello, welcome to your Reds news channel. Come check out the latest news from the world's greatest club over the past few hours. Let's get into the video. According to journalist Fabrizio Romano, there's a possibility that Ta is living his last months as a Leverkusen player. Another goal, another excellent game for Jonathan Ta for Bayer Leverkusen, as he's performing at a high level under Zabi Alonso's command this season, reports Romano. A point to be noted in the summer, as his current contract expires in June 2025, with just one year left. Ta was on Liverpool's radar last summer, as they assessed their defensive options. However, with Jarrell Kwanzaa impressing, Klopp opted to stick with what he had. Nevertheless, links with the Germans resurfaced last month. The 90 Minutes reported that Liverpool was and still is considering signing two defenders in the near future, a young player and an older one. At 28, Ta would obviously be the older one. And with just a year left on his contract in the summer, you can see why he would appeal to Liverpool on that basis. However, with everything turned upside down regarding Klopp, it's hard to say what a new manager will want this summer. We broadly know what Jurgen wants from the team, and thus, we can assess the likelihood of potential transfers as a result. But at this point, it's impossible to deduce what a new coach, whether Alonso or another, will see when taking over the team. If it ends up being Sabi, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll try to recruit key players from his former club. We've seen players like Eric Ten Hag attempt this at Manchester United, and it didn't work out very well. Klopp, on the other hand, had never trained any player he managed at Liverpool. It was never something he sought in an autograph session. We hope that, if Alonso comes in, we can see a few more links with Ta, Wurtz, and the rest. Things will start moving quickly now as the season nears its end, but they're not quite there yet. Fan, would you like to see Ta wearing the red shirt? Comment your opinion here. Liverpool would have been given the green light to move forward with the signing of Johan Bakayoko from PSV Eindhoven during the summer, with Jurgen Klopp apparently identifying the winger as a perfect farewell gift for the Merseysiders. The Reds are facing one of their most critical summers in recent history, as they seek a replacement for the iconic and charismatic coach Klopp, who will leave Liverpool after nine trophy-laden years in charge. Finding a successor for the German is becoming the top priority for FSG, and getting the next appointment right will be crucial for the American owners of the Merseysiders. To assist in the search, Liverpool has appointed a man described as the world's greatest leader to aid in the endeavor. And a coach has also stated that it is his destiny to move to Anfield and succeed Klopp. However, there are growing fears that Klopp's departure could lead to an indirect effect with some of the club's best players in recent years also considering their future as a result of the Germans' departure. Reports strongly suggest that Klopp has recommended to FSG that the Belgian winger, a nine-time winner in his eyes, is the perfect successor to Salah, should it be decided to cash in on the Egyptian star. Presented as Klopp's farewell gift to the Reds, there is strong competition for the 20-year-old with Brentford having a summer offer rejected and Manchester City also reportedly interested in signing him. However, PSV's director has given Liverpool and other suitors a boost by stating that he expects the Eredivisie leaders to profit from their star this summer. I don't believe Bakayoko will still play for PSV next season, said the club's sporting director Ernie Stewart to Dutch channel Voit Balkrant. It's unbelievable what Johan does at his age. He has played 30 big games in recent months. Bakayoko is valued at around 40 million euros, approximately 34 million pounds by PSV, and has scored 17 goals this season, totaling 33 goals in his career in 133 professional games. Liverpool is likely to want the star duo Virgil van Dijk and Trent Alexander-Arnold to be part of its post jurgen Klopp era, even though contract negotiations with the pair have not yet begun, according to Neil Jones. Speaking exclusively to Caught Offside in his latest daily briefing column, the Reds journalist took a look at Van Dyke's situation in particular, which recently seemed to raise some doubts about his future as he approaches the final year of his current contract at Anfield. The Dutch international has been an extremely important player for Liverpool over the years, undoubtedly establishing himself as one of the club's best signings in recent times, following his big-money transfer from Southampton in January 2018. It would be a blow to lose Van Dyke, 
But Jones feels that the comments of the 32-year-old player were slightly taken out of context, and the reaction to them was exaggerated, even though he also acknowledged that Liverpool still needs to start negotiations with him and Alexander-Arnold. I think Virgil van Dijk's recent comments to the press were exaggerated by some, with the story becoming much bigger than it needed to be. Van Dijk received a direct question after Liverpool's win over Norwich about his contractual situation and whether he believed he would be part of the Reds' future post-Klopp, said Jones. And while he could have given a more favorable PR-friendly response, I certainly hope so, could have been the right answer. It's understandable that he didn't exaggerate. He still has 18 months left on his contract and that cannot be ignored. So if he started talking about the next three or four years, it would have been a bit strange. Of course, with so much to be resolved behind the scenes at Liverpool, it's fair for fans to have some concerns. A new manager is needed, a new sporting director as well, and three of the club's top four players are approaching the final year of their respective contracts. But whoever the new boss is, whoever the new sporting director is, I think it's safe to say that they will want Van Dijk and Trent Alexander-Arnold on board. Personally, I don't foresee any problems with these contract renewals. Negotiations haven't started yet, but I think both will be part of the post-Klopp era at Anfield. Thank you very much for watching this far. Until next time.